we wake. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and a new episode. In this episode, we begin our summer road trip through Europe. We, among others, will visit countries like Switzerland, take a walk in the Alps, and also visiting some other countries like Belgium and the Netherlands. Early in the morning, we started off by going from our cabin to Denmark over the Öresunds Bridge and um, then taking the ferry down to Germany. And by the way, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well if you want to see stories of what happens in my day-to-day -day life. We were a bit early, so we have to stand in line, but we got on the ferry before it was planned. When we got on the ferry, it was time to have some lunch. To be honest, the lunch on this ferry wasn't any good experience. We didn't even have a good salad to eat or anything, so this was the best of the worst, I would say. But of course, I could get some really good coffee, though, since it was Starbucks. And why not go outside and enjoy the warm summer weather? Our first stop will be a hotel in uh, Germany. And that meant that we had about five hours driving south on the German Autobahn. The interesting part about Autobahn is that some section has free speed, which was great to try out what the car can handle. But many of the sections had a lot of uh, roadworks. To be honest, I think we spent hours on roadworks all over this road trip every time we were in Germany. But still, it rained when we left home and the more south we got, better and better became the weather. Our first stop and uh, night were going to be spent at the house you see here at the right in a small city called Melsungen. The hotel was great old uh, pension. The room was nice, clean, a bit Germanly, I would say. If you would imagine as a Swede how a German hotel room would look like, it's like this. But it was great, the personnel was great, didn't speak so much English, but they were nice and welcome and took really good care of us. After we had checked in, me and my wife took two different ways, I would say. She was out running and I took a long a stroll around the city, watching everything from um, bridges, uh, the river, all the old houses and so on. And she took a run around the city. It's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. I really loved this old small small house. Maybe it's not so old, but it was really cute. As well as I like to visit cemeteries when I go to new cities because you see the culture when it comes to the gravestones. And it's all for you. It's all for the old river was nice. I found this iron bridge and took a walk on the other side, which opened up a whole new nature as well I could actually get a great view of the river. It's all for you. It's all for you. The city is old. I would say that it's a medieval city, but I haven't, to be honest, checked it out. After we have having the walk and the run, we joined up together again and took a dinner at the Polish restaurant where they actually served the best Gordon Bleu I have ever eaten. Then it was taken for some uh, social media photo for my wife and her social media and our social media. So don't forget to follow us on Instagram so you can see what happens in my life. That more or less rounded up the first day. The next morning we woke up with the roof 
window we could also see that we had a more or less a blue sky after the rainy last day it was really great to wake up having a good breakfast as always in germany they have a lot of cheese and ham selections at the breakfast it was then time for us to pack up everything again and continue south with much better weather than we had the day before well it was a bit cloudy but the sun was but the sun found its way to us the sky cleared up and when we reached the border sea where we would spend the next night it actually was really great weather When we got to Bodensee, we ended up in Meersburg, where we took a drive down there from the Hotel Kreuz, where we actually lived, which is a part of Uldinge Mulhofen. Excuse my German pronunciation. It was a great uh, small town located by, I would say, one of the best parts by Bodensee. We spent the afternoon and the evening in Mersburg, taking walks, looking at the sea and, to be honest, drinking a couple of uh, glasses of wine. In Meersburg there is an old town with a small castle, or maybe not that small. We went looking at the castle, taking a stroll around it, and ending up just relaxing, enjoying the nature in the middle of the city. We then found out that I have a festival, festival with some Oompa Boompa music, a lot of sausage and beer. But since we are getting pretty tired of all the traveling and uh, exploration of the city, we actually ended up in a small pizzeria on a rooftop where we had a pizza and uh, a beer. A visit uh, to the Bodensee wouldn't be complete without taking an evening bath at the sea. So of course we went down into the water. It was pretty warm, about 20 degrees. Took a quick swim and then it was actually time for us to go to the hotel and um, end up the evening. The drive back to the hotel was really amazing. We had a sunset and then we ended up at the hotel. And thank you for watching this. In the next episode, we're gonna arrive to Switzerland where we're gonna hike the Alps, watching all the fantastic views. So don't forget to subscribe. Until then, take care and big thank you for watching my videos.